Hello, Swami Gang Gang. We're playing Baldur's Gate 3 today. And the city's just a little bit quieter and peaceful. Why? Because these hunk of metal is not stomping around anymore. I've killed them all. So all this infernal iron is just all over the city. I might as well go pick them up and make more weapons. Not for communal use, it seems. I'm sorry. Let's show some respect. Or some more cunning. Show respect to, to to metal? No, the only metal I respect is the metal inside Carlac's heart. That's the only type of metal I respect. Well, if you won't let me collect the infernal iron, can you at least move the Steel Watcher's dead body to the side? People gotta walk in the street. Are we still standing in the middle of the road? What? The oh, back up, back up. Move, Astari, let me handle this! What would you just say? I've been warned? Warned for what, ma'am? I wish you would do something. This pantilla! Yeah, you flaming fists are a joke! Y'all ain't protecting shit! <laughs> I've been warned. Y'all ain't gonna do anything about it. Y'all hear the music playing? I've been summoned. Somebody needs a bard, and it's at the Blushing Mermaid! Have no fear, the bard is here. <sighs> This place never changes. You were here the other night. Perhaps it should. All I see are carousing fools. I know. Isn't it wonderful? Orion. Endless opportunities for mischief. What, like snacky snacks, Astarian? You were here the other yes, night trying to get your yes, next you meal. Want. Look at that, y'all. They knew I was coming and they're already clapping for me. Already. I love it. I can give y'all one more good joke and then I have to go. Why does nobody trust a low dexterity wizard? Because he can can trip at any moment. And I'll leave y'all with that. Thank you. Y'all been good. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm gonna need about two business days to recover. My social battery is at 10% right now. Um, I only have enough effort to talk to my friends at camp. And the only reason why I'm not going to bed right now is because I want my new friends to try on clothes. Yes, Shart, work it, girl. Work that dress. Y'all don't think Carla can get any hotter? Watch this. Sensational. Is that the little mermaid? Nope, it's just Shadowheart. Why are you looking at me like that? It looks great on you. Do you not like it? Okay, fine. I'll change it. I went back to the original. Are you happy? I had to give Carlec back her leather pants because she's mad at me, which is rightfully so. I did flew away like a fairy and left her behind to die at the Iron Throne. Um, I did revive her thanks to the help of Withers, but um, it is expected of me to do that. And although she's forgiven me and, you know, still loves my stupid ass, um, there is consequences of my foolish behavior. And um, she's starting by taking away her leather pants from me. I can no longer wear those. I have to earn those back. So I've got to do whatever I need to do to, to get those pants back. So from here on out, I am on my best behavior. No more disappointing, Carlac. I am going to do whatever it takes. Another letter from Orin. Oh, God. Thanks to you. The tyrant's iron throne lies broken beneath the bay, and the prisoners in it are nothing but blood in the foam. Fishermen will be finding succulent morsels of no flesh to decorate their dishes for years to come. You sow the seeds of chaos well. How the sheep bleats to watch the guild guardians crash to the cobbles. They tremble to see the Lordling's Temple of Tyranny crumble atop their corpses. The time is now. Without his mindless mannequins, Gortash is weak. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him! Kill the rest him. of the page is filled with the same scrawled instruction, written in increasingly ineligible script. At the bottom, a signature sign of blood. Or... I mean, that should satisfy her until I kill Gortash here. So Hal's safe. Kitty! 
I see a kitty. Hold on, I gotta talk to it. It was another day in the city of lies, Baldur's Gate. Oh. Where the people begged for justice until they starved. Two heroes were fated to cross paths that day. Their eyes met. Destiny was calling. Um, and, and they both answered? Strangers? Only in a fool's definition of the word. It was the start of something incredible. Two heroes on the hunt for justice, no matter the cost. All the tall one had to do was say yes. Are you referring to us? Um, yeah, sorry, our destinies aren't meant to intertwine. You may be wanting to get a mouse or something. The tall one had passed the first test. Oh. The second would come when they were ready. Okay. And not before. When would they be ready? Only the tall one and fate truly knew. You know, the one thing about owning three casts is that you're not going to make them do what you want to do, so you have to make it look like they're wanting to do it. That's how you That's how you guide a cat. Oh, that was a lovely brunch date in the park, ladies. I enjoyed it. We need a schedule to do this again sometime. That was lovely, catching up with all of you. Why are there so many so... Really, you're just gonna leave this clunk of metal in the in the middle of the park? At least clean it up. Did you say nine fingers? Could I speak to you real quick? You don't want none of this. Trust me. They say the most colorful things are the most poisonous. Is that true with Dragonborns as well? I completely forgot. We are doing Astarian's quest line today. We can't really do that without Astarian being in the party. I completely forgot putting him back into the party after we did our little fashion show last night. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Astarian. Oh. Uh. My favorite traveling companion. Are you ready to better yourself and take care of this once and for all? Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, kind of. Well, you kind of don't have an option. Uh, excuse me. After Lazel and Karlak dragged him out, he finally told us how to get to Cazador's palace. And if you're anything like me and struggle to find it, I'm about to show you how to get there. The first thing you want to do is to go to your map and then you click on the lower city central wall waypoint. Once you click that, it's gonna fast travel you to here. Now that you've been safely teleported to where you need to be, you're gonna go up these stairs and go into the double doors. They will open up for you to go into the central watchtower. Hope you like stairs because you have to climb up three flights of them just to get to the next point. Try not to get dizzy. I kinda did, that's why I took a little mini break here. When you have recovered from your acute motion sickness, you're gonna walk out and then take a right. You're gonna see these doors up here. These doors will lead you to Sars Palace South Tower. I'm probably saying that wrong. A starian will start speaking, just let him speak. I can sneak in. The security shouldn't be too tight. A few maybe. After a starian warns you about the security, you're gonna go up this iron ladder. <laughs> Try not to shit your pants while you go up here. You'll be greeted by the guards and you'll get this interaction. You are intruding in the palace of Cazador Zar. Leave now, citizen. Oh, was it take your child to work day? How adorable. Talk to me like that again and I'll punt you across the city. The guards' words are clear, but spoken without thought or intent. Yeah, like a child. Behind her eyes, you see nothing. She must be one of the charmed thralls, as Starion mentioned. <laughs> Even the game is like, you want to yeet this thing off the tower? Go right ahead. I'm staying on business. I said what I said. Another word from you and you'll fly out of this tower. You know, my foot's been itching to kick something. You want to repeat of that squirrel? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. She pauses for a moment, but keeps her mouth shut. It seems you're free to enter. Yay. Now that you threatened to yeet the little ones off the tower, you're gonna go up these stairs and then go through these red gothic doors. 
doesn't matter which set of stairs you use, they both lead to this door here. And ta-da! You have finally arrived to the palace, as Historian likes to tell his dates that he eventually goes. But I don't think he'll be doing that much longer. We are here to improve ourselves and have Historian face his trauma and kill Casador. Yeah, ultimately just kill the person who's been tormenting him for 200 years. Well, that's suspiciously welcoming. Why did it click? Sorry, why, why did it click? Is there a bomb on the other side? I, I, sorry, you need to tell me these things. We're, we, are, we are entering a place that you are very familiar with. I have no idea what I'm stepping into. I'm trusting you, man. Oh, look at that. Bats. <laughs> we could check that off the list of cliche things vampires must have in a palace, along with barest a minimum amount of lighting. Check. The very old gothic decor. Check. The red carpet leading you into your doom. Check. Yeah, this place is horrible. Tonight he ascends. Tonight we shall see his true form. Oh, God. <laughs> Well, Astarian, do you want to give me a grand tour of this place, or what? Oh, maybe this guy can give us a tour. Hello, can I can I just follow you? I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just gonna keep following him. He's gonna lead me somewhere. Oh, down here. Thank you. Bless us. Master. I don't care. Do not do not chant rituals in front of me, sir. That door is saturated with necrotic magic. Oh. Best keep my distance. I have a feeling we need to go in there. Behold! One of Cazador's cheapest tricks. An illusionary wall. What? <laughs> Behind it is the must Kent. be clean. Everything the must be clean. A fetid little cell he throws us into when displeased. Oh. Find a spot for an ambush. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hello. Um. Don't mind us, we're leaving. Come on, come on, y'all. Come on. We're not getting ambushed today. Let me just start. I just want to just kind of get my bearings here. You know, this is probably the one time I'll explore this palace. Because once I'm done with this, I'm never coming back here. So, I mean, not as well. I got the spawn dormitory. Is this where all where all y'all sleep? A starion. You know what? These are actually pretty nice. <laughs> I'm guessing these are where the spawns that aren't in trouble get to sleep. <laughs> or are these like his favorites get to sleep in here? Does he like have a preference? Or is it like you you don't do something that he doesn't like, you get to sleep in the place where we're supposed to get ambushed in. I I'm just I'm very curious, Astarian. Just feel free to answer my questions. I mean I'm not gonna lie, Astarian. I know what you went through is traumatizing. But it could be worse. <laughs> I mean, especially if you sleep in here. You know, you do you do have to be enslaved to somebody, but at, at least he's giving y'all beds. Bunk beds! Y'all get bunk beds! How fun! This is where the spawn were kept. When we were getting neither the carrot alpha nor the steak. Oh, okay, so this is where y'all normally sleep if y'all aren't in trouble. Got it. Got it. That's more realistic because I saw those luxury beds. I was like, who was sleeping in this? Y'all, not me taking the nice clothing in the wardrobe. Casador's gonna be like, where the fuck are y'all's clothes? What are y'all doing? And the, the spawn's gonna be like, what are you talking about? There, There's no clothes in there. And then Casador's gonna get mad. He's gonna have to buy them more clothes so that they look nice. They don't even know that I'm over here just stealing their clothes. <laughs> Can I just talk to you real quick? I must be busy. Busy, busy, busy. Master might see me. Master might approve. Oh, this is just sad. He's never gonna approve. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing today? The woman's eyes are alert, verging on manic as she bustles about. Everything's gotta be right for the master. Everything's gotta be perfect. Okay, I'll just, I'll leave you to it. You were just standing there. I thought I could just talk to you. Okay, I'm just gonna keep exploring. I'm so tired. <laughs> It'll be over soon. I can race soon. I feel so bad for them. 
Okay, what's in here? Chamberlain Suite? Y'all got suites in here, Astarian? A private. Ooh. Oh, there's the office right here. Whose office is this? Astarian, is this his office? This is a door. Oh. Oh my god, what is that? Whatever killed this werewolf burned it up from the inside. What? Its throat and innards are more liquid than solid. There are fucking werewolves here? Oh, I should have known. Astarian, how are you doing? Are you okay? So this is it. I'm home. There's the same fading carpet. The same tasteless art. Nothing's changed. The gods. Everything feels different. Yeah, because you're not walking around as his servant right now. You're just walking around as a guest. I mean, I would feel different too if I were you. I mean, what is it like being back? It does feel strange. Breaking into your own home. Especially if murder's on your mind. Then again, this is hardly the strangest thing we've done together. Not even close. Although it could be the most satisfying. We'll see, ma'am. We'll, we'll see. So I'm guessing everybody's charmed? Oh no. It's much worse than that. What do you mean? They're fanatics. What? Here of their own free will and utterly devoted to Cazador. Oh my god. Each one came to our door and begged to be given his eternal gift. They're sure he'll turn them if they serve him well enough. Then why does he have slaves? You feel sorry for the poor deluded souls. Oh, I don't anymore. But they're idiots. Yeah. Who brought this upon themselves, so don't. Oh, no, no, no. I don't feel bad for them if they're here on their free will. So, what's the plan? Well, I was thinking first we find Cazador and then mm -hmm. we kill Cazador. Great plan. That's about it, really. Oh. We can workshop the details as we go. I'm feeling we need to workshop it now, but whatever. Are you sure about this? You don't have to face him. <laughs> I've never been less sure of anything. But if I don't face him now, I never will. I'll spend the rest of my life running, watching the shadows, never feeling safe. No, this has to happen here and now. And you won't be fighting alone. We'll be right behind you. Also, there's a small matter of all that power I can steal from the bastard. No! So that'll be nice. Why? So that you'll be just as bad as he is? Absolutely not. I was about to cut this part out, but then I saw that this man so has curious. a diary. And I was like, ooh, let me read it. This is the diary of Antoine Dufay, Chamberlain of Cazador's Palace. The final page of the diary reads... I know enough about what the master has in mind with this ritual that I refuse to be the stand-in for that missing brat Astarian. Even if Cazador finds my body, the potion Bone Cloak sold me is promised to provide a convincing illusion of death, especially since I leave behind a look-alike potion of acid poison. My one regret is dear Luriana. But I simply cannot trust her with the secret of my one chance of escape. When the potion wears off, Cazador will have ascended and will have needs of my services. Or he'll be no more. And mastery of the palace will fall to me. Listen, I don't care who the palace falls to. Astarian's not getting the power. I'm just gonna take her clothes, sir. I mean, you're not gonna need it, right? Since this door is glowing red and it's full of rats, I feel like this is the door we need to get in. The door is covered in intricate text, but you can't see anywhere a key might fit. Only a small round hollow engraved with a family crest. Star, you don't have a family crest on you, right? <sighs> Let me just try to understand what this door is saying. Or not, that's cool too. The writing means nothing to you. You can't even recognize the script. There's writing like this all over the palace. Some old, probably dead language of Cazador's. 
We were strictly forbidden from learning it. Oh, that's convenient, because I was going to ask you to open up the door. No need, I'll just do an investigation roll, and no. Okay. The indentation is small and features an engraving of the family crest. Beyond that, it's a perfectly normal, mysterious door. Thanks, narrator. Thank you so much. Lazel, why not? You give it a try. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. You're not gonna get blood. I just need you to open up the door. Do your best, Lazel. Just do your best. Engraved with a family crest. Oh my god! Lazel! <laughs> not the natural one. The writing means nothing to you. You gonna take that, Lazel? Oh, let's go! Oh, so we're gonna figure out something today! The indentation seems to be the right size and shape to fit a signet ring bearing the family crest. Alright, so we're looking for a ring. Thank you, Lacell. Carlac, you wanna try? Carlac, please pay attention. <laughs> this is important. The writing means nothing to you. Moving on, because what the fuck is this painting here? A sorrel dance? I could take it. I just stole a whole fucking painting. <laughs> I got the boring art for you, Astarian. It's a little memorabilia, <laughs> you know? Oh, look, he's got another one over here. It's fine. It's fine. He's got multiple of the same painting. I can see what you mean, Astarian. Seeing the same painting over and over again, no matter how exotic it may look, gets boring. I get it. But the fact that I could just steal a whole fucking painting and shove it in my pocket is, is awesome. Dude. 